Hello everybody, what's up? Captain Turbo here, and welcome back to Let's Play Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Um, so yeah, we're <coughs> excuse me, we're back in the, uh, the Outer Wall, we're actually heading into a new section soon. Uh, we're also going to be having a boss fight coming up as well. I did actually go to get myself a glass of milk between parts, but unfortunately we were out of milk almost. At least until tomorrow morning. And so I got some juice instead. Um... So if I do go um, mute for a moment, it's just so I can have a swig of my drink. Uh, so yeah, we'll uh, save up here before we uh, move on. Keep unlocking these, and we are actually about to do our um, boss fight here. I don't know if there's any... Uh, I don't think there's any... Uh, voice acting here. As far as I'm aware. I do like this uh, little cutscene though. And we have to fight <gasps> ourselves! Oh my god, so innovative. Nobody's ever thought to do that before. Alright, I actually have, believe it or not, more issues with this boss fight than most of the other boss fights in the game. Uh, the Mirror Arrow Al card is uh, pretty versatile, versatile actually, and will do a lot of the same shit you'll do, and has all the items you have, and yeah, a bit of a pain in the ass, I'm going to be honest here. Uh, I, I like to have full sub weapons, but obviously it's not going to be a definite win for me just because I have all sub weapons. As you can see, I'm actually out of um, items now. You see, though, critical hit for uh, 35 actually is not bad at all. Alright, we managed to kill him. And he goes back into the void. And we get our bonus. And I think there's another cutscene coming up in a moment. I tell a lie, there's no cutscene. I thought there was. Uh, I'm just gonna take a quick swig of my drink. Life max up. Try not to fall down there. It's not death or anything. Um, in fact, there's no, uh, there's no real bottomless pits actually for now that I think about it in this game. No, there isn't. It's just more, um, it, you've got to go all the way back around. Thankfully, you don't have to fight the boss fight or anything again. It's just a um, bit of a pain in the ass, that's all. But I did want the life up, which is always nice. But yeah, guys, uh, by the time you guys see this, um, Honestly, we've been. I uh, this is like a much smaller let's play to the ones I've currently been doing and stuff. I mean, uh, the time obviously I'm recording this on. I've already said before the 13th of December 2020. At least for these four parts I'm doing tonight. Uh, Mass Effect One and Two are finished. I'm going to be starting up uh, again. This might be spoiler alert here. But when I, <clears throat> but when I do get back to like my main to properly doing Let's Plays again, because again, this was just a little side thing I'm doing tonight. When I do get back to doing Let's Plays again properly, uh, Dragon Age is going to be the next Bioware game I do. And also, by the way, fucking Game Awards, they announced that yes, we're still, we still know we have Mass Effect. Don't worry, Mass Effect is going nowhere. We are going to be working on something. I mean, it was nice to think we are, even if it was only for about five seconds, but I wish we got more than that. And I'm actually worried because the last couple of... Uh, the last couple of Bioware games have been fucking stinkers. Like, we've had, uh, think of the last couple we've had. Uh, Mass Effect 3, I, it was okay. Should have been a hell of a lot more than it was, and I still don't like the ending. Dragon Age Inquisition, admittedly, was actually pretty good. I, I will admit, I actually do like Inquisition a fair amount. It's not great, but I like it. Uh, but then you had Anthem, fucking Anthem was fucking... I mean, who was that game even for? I, I don't know, it's just uh, I'm not particularly over the moon at the moment. I, I'd love to get hyped for another Mass Effect game, I really would. But it's, you know, once bit, twice shy or something like that. Once shy, twice bit, I don't fuck it. I'm trying to be, I'm trying to sound smart and I'm really not. All I know is I really want to be pumped for the game, but I just can't. And we got all the thrown away copies of Twilight here. Angry over their owners finally wising up and getting rid of them, so they're attacking Alucard right now. I actually did have a fairly good night though earlier. Obviously, I said I was supposed to be doing a GTA 3 race. I did actually, uh, which got cancelled, but uh, 
There was an SLPA uh, Mario Kart 8 tournament. It was only me and Gold. Uh, Paris was supposed to jump in, but he had to back out last minute. Uh, but yeah, I won 16 of the 16 races. I won every fucking single race. It was fucking awesome. I also had CPU performance on, but uh, that's such a really good move. Oh. It's been a long time, old one. Oh, it's you, Master Alucard. What do you need? I need your help. Young master, I cannot aid one who opposes the master. You won't go unrewarded. Really? In that case, just tell me what you need. I'm interested in this. Alright, so... You've pretty much... Like that's you. pretty much all the dialogue you'll get between these two now. They'll say, I'm interested in this. I'm interested in this. And, oh, like thank you. you. And that's I'm it. Interested you'll in just this. hear this constantly now. Uh, but that is the only bit of dialogue like between you. these two. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to talk about other things like... Um, like you. Obviously by the time... Oh, by the way, I... make sure you buy potions. I can't stress enough how useful they are. Uh, get at least one library card every time you come here. Uh, just so you can teleport straight back. Not only is it good if you're low on health and stuff, well it's now. also good to teleport here in case you need to come here for whatever reason, or at least close to here. Uh, there are things that can teleport you around the um, the castle, but they are only select um, number of places. Uh, this at least gives you another option to the library if you need to come here for whatever reason. Uh, but yeah, uh, obviously by the time you guys see this, I don't exactly know. Here's the thing. I have a plan in mind for my 10th year, at least my 10th, after my 10 year anniversary retrospect, for the following year after that to be, uh, for the 10th year to be one video every day all year. So 365 videos. That is the ideal. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. I hope I can, but I'm not too fussed if I can. But that is the plan. If I can, I can. It's what it is. Um, I have plans in mind for other games. Obviously, you guys have seen already. Uh, I've been doing so. I'm going to talk about some stuff that might be spoiler uh, ter territory here. But uh, obviously, I've been doing Telltale's Back to the Future. Uh, I've done three episodes. I've recorded three episodes at the moment. You guys should have already seen those three episodes. Uh, I'm going to obviously be doing episodes five and uh, sorry, four and five as well. That should be no surprise to you whatsoever. I'm not going to start the fucking story and not finish it. Uh, same for LEGO Star Wars, at this point I've recorded episodes 1 and 2 of uh, the Complete Legacy, which is ironically just the first 6 games, which is what it used to be. Uh, and I'm going to record all 6 uh, episodes of course, I'm not going any further than that just in case anybody's wondering yet. Uh, just because I've never played any of the other Star Wars LEGO games and I've never seen any other LEGO uh, Star Wars movies because I'm just not that much of a LEGO uh, I'm just not that much of a Star Wars fan. I might do other LEGO games as well in the future. I'd definitely be interested in doing at least the first um, four years of Harry Potter because uh, I've actually owned that for a while. And to be honest, LEGO games aren't that difficult to play for. So, um, what else is there? Oh, um. I've got something already planned for the 100th Let's Play. I'm not going to spoil that yet because I don't know if it'll be up by the time this goes up. I don't believe it will, but I'll at least be recording it by the time this goes up, I believe. Uh, obviously, I've done some smaller stuff. The Abuse and Butter for the Genesis, Tasmania for Super Nintendo. I will, like, record some other stuff. I can say... I, I don't mind saying this right now because I don't know if you guys will have already seen it or if I'll have just scrapped it. I'm hoping to do Mega Man 7. I've recorded a bit of it at this point in time, but I've not got around to finishing it. Uh, just because I... As soon as like the NES Mega Man games are finished, I generally tend to suck at them. Uh, also, for future Castlevania games, I I don't know, guys. I might attempt to do um, uh, Bloodlines or... Is it Bloodlines? Yeah, Bloodlines. I might attempt to do Bloodlines and, or even Dracula X. I, I'd like to do some of the other uh, Metroidvania's Castlevania games, but uh, I, I've only played one other one, and I, it was one of the GBA ones. I can't remember which one it was. Um, it's the guy with like a red coat or something for his um, um, his attire. I, I can't remember which one it is I've played. I do like it. I, I just I never actually finished. I got so close I could just couldn't find Dracula at the end. Oh, speaking of the teleporting sections, here we are. We found the first one here. This will teleport, I believe, back to nearly the beginning of the game. Uh, where we can actually pick something up that we saw earlier that we couldn't get to. We're about to see it in a moment. 
We see the heart from earlier, the heart max up. If we press this now, this will send us back to just before the marble gal gallery. As you can see right here. Don't know why I'm doing this though. Why am I going this way? I genuinely can't figure this out. Did I pick something up for a good reason to come this way? I'm not sure. To be perfectly honest. Also, I've obviously picked up an item recently that will give me the um, the names of all the enemies as well as we kill them. Just in case anybody's wondering. I do leave this on for the rest of the game. hope nobody minds, but it, I just like having it on. Uh, but yeah, but that's for like super uh, for future Castlevania games. I've got a few ideas in mind. I'm probably not going to be seeing too many of those. As I said, I'm primarily a Sonic guy, so that's stuff that you're going to see on my channel more than anything else. I did actually have uh, some Metro Fusion recorded, but uh, that got scrapped just because at the time I was recording, I hadn't even finished the game once, and I don't want to do that solo, so I'm going to wait until I can get Nova in for that. Uh, also, I. I you guys should still be seeing FF14 when this goes up as well. I hope you guys have been enjoying that. As I said, at the time we were recording this, we've recorded um, 270 odd episodes. We've basically a couple episodes into Bloodstorm. Or Stormblood, sorry. Um, so, you know, by the time this goes up, there may even be another expansion pack um, added onto the game after uh, Shadowbringers, which I haven't even bought yet, so that's how far ahead we are. Although there is the Christmas sale coming up, so I'm half tempted to buy uh, Shadowbringers if it's on sale. But we'll see what happens. We don't even need to record any more of that for a couple of years, but I'll try and get another session in light towards the end of 2021 or something. Way, way further in the future. Alright, so I came here, but do I have the ability to go through this door? Yeah, I do apparently. I didn't even realize, which reminds me, I believe there's going to be a cutscene coming up. Oh, we meet again, Alucard. It seems so. As friendly as ever, I see. It's strange. This castle is different than I remember it. This castle is a creature of chaos. It may take many incarnations. So I can't trust my memories, huh? Oh well, I'll do my best. Good luck. Oh yeah, she wants the vampire dick. Anyway, we're at the Royal Chapel now. Another new section to the game. And I would say this is probably where uh, things definitely start to get a lot more open at this point. Uh, the Aquamarine, by the way, that's a nice little item they have right there. Alright, these fuckers right here, best bet. Get your holy water if you still got it, and just use it, and you'll be fine. Again, it, I, I think the Holy Water is easily the best weapon in the game. There's so much damage, it lasts a fairly decent amount of time, and quite honestly, I think it's more reliable than anything else. Again, the crossbow is not bad, not the crossbow, the fucking cross is not bad, but um, I, I definitely think it takes second place to this. Right, be careful of the ball, I believe you can actually destroy that uh, mace ball, but um, I couldn't do it right now without taking significant damage, I don't want to. I'm just gonna punch that guy till he dies, because why not? Yeah, I was thinking about that earlier. Uh, this is technically a little mini boss here, I like to consider it a mini boss, but I'm not gonna fight it yet. If I don't if I end up fighting it at all. Yeah, try back dash jumping. It's a way to get a little bit more height, like a tiny bit more height, but I don't know if I actually managed to pull this off or not. I think I gave it like another attempt or two. I don't even need to. We've got the goggles. Uh, this will give us a little bit more of a thing here. No, same defense. I did increase one of our stats, but I didn't see it in time. Probably our intelligence with its goggles. Oh, excuse me. Uh, my advice here is just to try and ignore this. At least until you've got some major fucking power going for you. It's not so much it's hard, it, it, it takes long to kill if you can hit it properly, but it can do an exorbitant amount of damage. Especially for this early on. 
Like, you can see right now, I'm just getting hit constantly by this thing because I can't get away. 